you very much. Um, I'm going to talk about the uh, Flosh Metrics uh, project, which um, is trying to get quantitative data from uh, uh, free software, open source, libre software development. Um, the basic ideas of the projects are quite simple. Uh, as you may know, in the libre software community, there are a lot of opinions. Everybody has an opinion about everything, how we could, develop, we could improve development, uh, the quality of a project, uh, how many people is working there, things like that. Uh, but uh, there is very little facts, uh, just a few. Uh, on the other hand, there is a lot of data publicly available about uh, free software development. Uh, you know that most projects are using public forges where all the development history is available. You can track every developer, every single file through the whole history of development since, in many cases, 15 years ago. So this, this is very rich information, which, by the way, was not available to the uh, software engineering community, I'm, I mean the academic software engineering community, before, because obviously in the uh, proprietary software case, it's very, very hard to access not only the source code, but the history of the source code, or uh, the back reports about the code, or even the design documents of the software. With respect to researchers, this basically means that um, we are in heaven, because we have a lot of public data, we can reproduce the studies from others, we can validate results with the real data, and we can have really large samples. We can have thousands of projects for uh, when we want to, to make an analysis. In addition, there is a lot of people interested in this kind of data because there is a lot of people involved in the libre software development community. You have developers, of course. They could be interested in how the project is performing, which, things of, uh, which kind of things are happening in the project right now. Especially in, in large projects, projects, this is very difficult to know if you are not really, really deep into the uh, uh, core of the project. But also companies, in many cases, companies are either running libre software projects themselves or are interested in uh, some kind of, uh, of development, of libre software development. So uh, with these ideas uh, in mind, we can uh, make some questions. Of course, these are very high level things like, like uh, can we improve somehow libre software development, maybe by identifying practices that are leading to better software, or to software being developed quickly, more quicker, or to better productivity, or something like that. Or can traditional academic software engineering learn something from libre software by analyze, analyzing the procedures and the practices in the libre software community, and trying to understand from a quantitative point of view why they are better, because it's obvious at this point that uh, the libre software community is using new development methods that traditional companies are not using. But the, the main question is why they are better and in which aspects all the companies could benefit, or companies could benefit from them. And of course, could uh, projects understand better what they are doing and how they are doing it by analyzing the patterns in the repositories, for instance. So the main goals of the project, first the slide is more like what we academics find in the libre software development. Second slide is more like uh, the specific goals of uh, flows metrics. Basically, we want to retrieve data from uh, thousands of projects, mainly from uh, well-known forges like SourceForge, but also from uh, uh, big projects like Mozilla or Gnome or KDE or Apache. We want to make an analysis, we are making an analysis about, uh, about actors, so mainly developers, back reporters, people collaborating in mailing lists, artifacts, so the kind of software we're producing, but also uh, messages or individual files in the source code management system, for instance, and of course processes. How is people fixing bugs, for instance? What's, what's the regular process for fixing a bug? Somebody reports, somebody assigns, somebody maybe fixes, somebody reopens because it's, it was in fact not fixed, somebody fixes again. And uh, what's happening in that? Timing for that, for instance, the usual pattern for closing a bag in different projects, how that's mapped to project policies, for instance, etc. Uh, well, on top of that, we want to, we are doing some high level studies which deal with uh, issues like software evolution. So, how is 
uh, Libre Software evol evolve in, in different projects over time, not only in terms of lines of code, but also in terms of complexity, for instance, or quite interested in terms of community. So how large is the co um, uh, group who is developing the software over time? What happens when the code group changes, for instance? With respect to human resources, we are interested in productivity, in uh, um, raw estimation of the effort, in uh, building free software, things like that. Um, with respect to quality, we are using some quality metrics. Of course, quality metrics don't tell the whole story of the quality of a product, but you can get the first idea of what's happening if you apply those quality metrics either to source code or to the processes in the development cycle. Uh, we are basically putting together a database with all of this and making it available to others. Anyone can come. Usually researchers are interested. Some developers could also be interested. But in general, you can download the database and uh, do the kind of analysis you could be interested in. And uh, we are also trying to uh, provide some tools for following up the, the development. So the AIS, that's the last phase of the, um, of the project to provide some simple tools so that if you want to follow such and such project, whoops, sorry. If you want to follow such and such project, you just grant the tool and you get something like a web page with the main characteristics of the project. Uh, of course, we are quite interested in involvement with the liberals of the community and we are already working with uh, some projects to uh, help, um, usually they help us in getting the data uh, more easily. We'll talk about that later. So summarizing the main results, this database I talked about with factual details. The factual is quite important because the things we have in the database are facts. So nobody can discuss that. That means somebody was doing a commit, such and such day, or such and such file, and the diff is this one. So things like that. But uh, millions of things like that. We're having some higher levels and studies and analysis, which are basically reports that will be public when finish it in a, in a couple of months from now. And uh, a sustainable platform for uh, benchmarking and analysis. So basically all this data is going to be kept in the servers so that anyone wanting to make a benchmarking analysis, for instance, can come here and look for similar projects to anyone, any other one, and for analyzing patterns or whatever. Our main focus is in providing data and information. So we are interested in better testing this data, for saying it so by doing some analysis, but our main interest in providing the data so that anyone can come and do uh, his or her preferred analysis. Well, we have a bunch of partners all around Europe, including universities and companies. Oops, sorry. And the current status. Our project is uh, due to finish by August, so we are close to finish, but right now we are more or less entering into production. At the end of the project, we expect to have like 5,000 projects analyzed in the machinery for growing up to the end of the project. Right now, you can find in the, in the, web, in the website of the project right down here, melchiares.flusmetrics.org, you can find database dumps for something like 2,300 projects last time I checked. Uh, basically, what we offer is full MySQL dumps for CVS and subversion commit records, so all the history of the project, metrics on size and complexity for some code. We still only have around um, well, 100 projects with, with that kind of information, but that, that's quite interesting. That's every release of every file of all the project through all the history. So that means having the complexity of uh, the project over time, for instance, or the size of the project of a team. We also have in uh, mailing list main headers, which are very useful for tracking the interrelationships and the communication patterns uh, in the project, and issue and back tracking systems for something like uh, 700 uh, projects right now. We are working on aggregating all of this. Hopefully next week or in a couple of weeks from now, we are going to offer a complete damp of all the projects in the same database, which allows for cross-querying uh, things in different projects. We are working on those focused studies, and uh, we have that Melchiares web-based repository. We are right now also working on, on an API, because right now it's a bit manual to get the dead ramps, but we are working on an API which should be ready in something like one month from now. 
This is just, I'm going to skip this. You can uh, connect to the website and, and look at it. It's basically the, what we are offering. That, um, if you go to the projects uh, uh, section, you can see the whole listing of the projects and then the, download uh, the dumps if you want. So just to skip, well, th this is the kind of thing you find if you go to a project. These are CVS dumps, for instance, and subversion dumps. These are mailing list dumps, etc. Uh, one of the most interesting things uh, of the projects are the tools that are moving all of this. We have developed tools for analyzing uh, subversion CVS uh, GIT and Bazaar uh, systems repositories. And uh, we are also developing, we have developed uh, um, tools for analyzing bug reporting systems and mailing, li and, and mailing lists. The most interesting one probably is CVS Anali. CVS Anali is basically capable of going to a repository, download every version of every file and every commit record, which, which means you can track the whole history of the repository and put it into a nice SQL database when you can, where you can make queries much more simple than when the usual development tools. As I said, we have similar things for Bitcoin and Emelstad, but for Bitcoin and Emelstad, they are much more simple because the only thing they do is to mine the repository and basically dump that into a database. Um, as I said, all of this is integrated into Melchiorres. Which kind of studies are we, are, are we doing with this? I talked a bit about this uh, before. We have evolution of projects where we are interested in the evolution of code over time, evolution of communities over time, and also things like the responsiveness of the project, for instance, in back reporting or in uh, uh, releasing code or things like that. We are trying to detect deviations. So usually you see a common pattern at some point. You see that the, that the project is performing very well or performing very bad for some reason. We are quite interested in those, let's say, disrupting points because usually they reflect some core change in the project, which is quite interesting to understand what was happening after and before that point and, and, and what happened exactly there. We are quite interested in uh, the human resources side, such as uh, what happens when the code team in a project changes. Uh, does the project notice that? Uh, how long does it take to recover if there is some problem or something? And you can find uh, very detailed information about that because you can detect very, very carefully when the code change happens and uh, you can uh, look at the parameters of the project and see what's happening after that point. Uh, as I said before, we also work in a fourth in value estimation uh, with a group of economists and um, we are basically, in the end, what we are looking for is finding parameters that can characterize the status of a project so that, of course, this is never going to be like having an expert on the project who knows everything about the project and is following the mailing list all the days and the CBS commits all the days and so on. But if you just go there, see some parameters, you could have a very detailed idea of what's happening in this project. How many people is working here? What's the trend? Are they having a community or not? Uh, what's the matter with quality and complexity on the free code? Things like that. Uh, and overall, we're quite interested in detecting sustainability conditions for projects. So when the project is led to success or not. At some point, it seems that you can find out because you need to enter some growth pattern. If you don't get enough resources, I mean human resources, it's very likely that the project is not going to, to succeed, things like that. Of course, since what we are providing is data so that others can do the analysis, imagination in the end is the limit of the kind of the study you can do. I'm going to skip all this part about the kind of problems we have. You have it in the slides if you want to look at it. And then just a stride to the final slide, which is, if you are interested, we are pretty much happy of uh, having your feedback or even your collaboration if you want. All the, detail, all the detail of the description of work of the project is available on the website, so you can look there. There's something like uh, 100 pages about what we are doing, the schedule, things like that. Um, all the software we are using is Libre software. So you, if you are interested in the software and not in the data, you, of course, can use the software. It's available here. Uh, of course, if you are interested in the progress of the uh, project, have a look at the, web, at the website. Uh, in a couple of months from now, we are entering full production, but I guess that right now we are pretty much usable. Uh, we are also interested in knowing how this could be useful for you. 
as a developer or maybe somebody involved in the Liberal community somehow. So please give, our, give us feedback. We are willing to collaborate with projects and very interested in feedback from developers, specifically in the areas of privacy, because we are having a lot of data that could, could be considered as a problem for privacy, but also in uses of this in different projects. Sorry, different projects. And uh, this is all from my side. Okay, just some time. Thank you.